you're going to predict what's going on inside this tube, but you can't see inside of it. Mr. Wheatcraft just really, I mean, he inspired my daughter. My teaching philosophy is just inclusion. That's the best word I can use. We try to make the program that I run um, inclusive of all students, of all abilities. Um, the great thing about working at Alamo Heights, we, we allow students to choose to be in pre-AP, um, and the STEM program is a pre-AP course, so students elect to be in there. Does that work? He made learning a lot of fun. Instead of like getting talked at, he like explained things really well. By about halfway through the year, the kids all start learning what each other's kind of niche is and what they're good at. And they start searching out each other to do those things. It really builds confidence in the students. They learn more in depth because they're willing to take more risks, they're willing to take chances, and it builds a very safe environment for the kids. Working with middle school kids has always been a highlight. Um, I don't think I'd ever go to any other grade. Um, I get to go storm chasing. Hey everybody. I'm here. Which that's always a highlight and I get to share that with my students. He video chatted with us so we could tell him where to go and he would kind of give us hints on where he think would be the best spot but he really went where we told him we thought a tornado would go. Got some pea sized mail. And then of course this year um, getting Trinity Prize, um, just being nominated Teacher of the Year at my campus. There are so many good teachers. That to me is just beyond flattering. And just getting Regional Teacher of the Year and now being a state finalist, it's just, um, it's still surreal. I just, I still can't believe it. This is how you do science. Thankful for him. I'm thankful for our school district that allows him the, the freedom to try some crazy things in the classroom. I just love the way he pours into the kids and gets to know them and cares about them uh, individually. My message as Teacher of the Year would be uh, don't let anything stop you. Uh, the sky is the limit and kids can do amazing things if you let them. A lot of times as teachers, we get very controlling about our school, about our classroom, about the environments, and that limits the potential of students, I believe. When you allow students to explore and to find their own voice and their own purpose, um, they are willing to take greater risks and do and achieve greater things. So let students just be themselves and they will push you and your class to higher and higher achievements all the time. Outside the box right there.